Tonight, Independence Day travel rush. Nearly 48 million Americans take to the roads and skies for the 4th of July holiday weekend, making it the second busiest on record. Packed airports and highways as Americans put the lockdown in the rear view mirror. The high gas prices tonight and what a shortage of fuel trucks could mean for you. Plus, TSA prepares for pre-pandemic crowds and chaos. Hurricane Elsa gaining power and picking up speed. The storm heading for Florida. When will it hit? Heartbreaking discovery. A firefighter's seven-year-old daughter found in the rubble in Surfside. And could Hurricane Elsa hamper the search and rescue effort? America's longest war. After 20 years, U.S. troops leave the base that was once the center of operations in Afghanistan. Why the top commander there says the world should be concerned about an Afghan civil war. Race to vaccinate. What we're learning about how effective the COVID vaccines are against the Delta variant. Cargo jet crash in Hawaii. The moment pilots realized they couldn't make it back to the airport and the incredible rescue. Sexual assault in the military. The president throws his support behind changing the way sexual assaults are handled. Weed suspension. Why a top U.S. sprinter says she used marijuana just weeks before the Tokyo Olympics. And CBS's Steve Hartman with how one couple's enduring love is helping them overcome life's greatest challenges. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, reporting from the nation's capital. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. 